main engine. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Picnic basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later, Helene here along with... Ricky here! And welcome back to Dishonored. And this time, yeah, we'll be continuing on with the DLCs. And we finished up, last time we finished up the Knife of Dunwell in high chaos unintentionally because, yeah, it turned out to be a lot shorter than I thought. And because of that, the Chaos stuff was weighted a lot heavier. <laughs> so yeah, we got the bad end with that. Or at least the High Chaos end, which could be considered the bad end. But yeah, now we'll be moving on to... There we go. Now we'll be moving on to the Brigmore Witches, which should have a lot less of the Chaos system in place. Oh! Yeah. If I remember correctly, though, could have been that I'm just remembering things wrong. Uh, well, yeah, let's get started. Let's, uh, save game for the. And yeah, I was wrong on this. You can import your progress from a uh, knife of Dunwall to break more witches. So, it's which progression do you want to use? Oh, okay. Yeah, we end. We ended the. Uh, the first mission we ended on low chaos, even though we ended up having to kill uh, our target and, well, blow up the entire freaking factory. The second mission we ended on high chaos because we, well, again, messed up the non-lethal way and were thus forced to use the, uh, the high chaos uh, to just outright kill the guy, which led to us get in high chaos, but we did manage to save it from high chaos at the end of it. Though that it was the it's the it's the chaos level of the second mission that determines uh, was it the, uh, to determine it's this, the chaos level of the second to last mission that determines which ending you get with that all right uh, so that does mean that we can import low chaos um, yeah we've been doing veteran mostly so might as well stick with that The black-eyed bastard knew that when my blade stilled the Empress's heart and delivered her daughter to the Lord Regent's men, everything would fall to pieces. He watched me do it anyway. And now the world's gone mad. Plague grinds the city down. Corruption rots. Imagine that was a... The men are recovering well from the attack, but they don't understand the danger they're in. My mother warned me never to make an enemy of a witch. Corvo, here to settle our debt. You understand, I won't make this easy for you. Okay, gotta pause that because I made a mistake with that. Yeah, uh, I currently have two programs set in OBS for capturing the webcam. One that removes the background, the other that does not. Um, okay, apparently it's also a little bit bigger than this one. So let's desize that. Still a little bit of a border, but oh well. Uh, yeah, I figured I tested out a program that erases the background, uh, but I decided to keep this going for yeah, for the moment, just because well, the rest of everything wa was with this uh, background, so might as well finish it up. Okay, and I accidentally yeah I I, I accidentally skipped the intro there. Or at least the intro cinematic. Oh. Uh, we only have our blade, it seems. <laughs> Darnsy bastard. 
panic. Yeah, because I I accidentally had the uh, NVIDIA broadcast over. Nope. Ow. Recording set over this one, so when I. Well. Nope. Oh, so we do have. has returned with the information you requested. He's waiting for you below. Basically, to simplify it, I, uh, due to my mistake, there was a big gray uh, square in the, in the corner of the screen there. And, oh. yeah. Let's see. Reclamation of Dunwall, excerpt from a pamphlet published in response to the plague. Dunwall, the seat of power in the known civilized world, the Empire of the Isles, it is our great capital and it has been wrought low by vermin, the very thought galls. We are faced with the reality that our once great city is in a state of shambles, and the few remaining domiciles in any habitable condition are the estates of those wealthy enough to ward themselves against that reality. A city cannot uh, continue to thrive populated by only the upper classes and their cloistered sycophants. Uh, and yet there are many people who think, well, they, they can. Even if the plague were uh, gone tomorrow, in its present state, Dunwall doesn't have enough hardy people of working age to return this, the city to everyday function. We must find a way to attract more residents. <coughs> Pardon? Which requires removing the cloud of fear brought about by the current reg regime. The Lord Regent and his lackeys are bad for business, my friends. So it falls on us. A plague and a tyrant must be overcome. And after that, we must undertake a third miracle turning the screws on the obscenely wealthy, forcing them to pay back into the place that has given them their privileged lives. It is the powerful and fortunate who must pay for the rebuilding of Dunwall, even if the poorest will bear the stones and timbers of reconstruction on their backs. If all, uh, th all this must happen for the dormant machine of commerce to restart. Without that, we are all forfeit and the great city of our age will be lost. Okay. So basically what is needed in a good part of the real world as well. Yeah. <laughs> also, if the if the angle of my camera seems off a bit, that's because during a, a VR test that I did recently, I accidentally whipped the cord against the cam webcam somehow. Now, don't ask me how a, a cable that was here, where I'm moving a hand forwards from the out of sight of the camera, how that ended up whipping all the way over here. Yeah. What? Let's see. Regency and emergency powers. In a time of political upheaval, there are provisions in place for a stage transfer of power designed with three goals in mind. The first is the minimiza minimization of incentive for coup. Um, there is no predetermined person or position within the government that is scheduled to take on the mantle of regency during a time of crisis. Instead, a regent is chosen by parliamentary accord. This serves to avoid promoting a path of derelict ascendancy and to discourage those who would scheme uh, for such a turn of events. It is the assumption of our governing uh, documents that such a legislative body will always have the wisdom to seize for would-be usurpers. Again, this is also being somewhat relative to modern days because, yeah, stuff going on in America where, yeah, there are would-be usurpers at work and being shielded. The second is the assurance of stability for the commons during and after the transitional phase. During an interjournum, while a regent rules the land, there are categories of laws and decrees that cannot be altered without a majority vote from parliament. Thus, daily life for the people will not change dramatically when during the time of regency or shift uh, dr uh, drastically once a proper heir takes up the throne. Third and perhaps most important is that a worthy successor is found. In order to rule out hasty action and, the maxim and to maximize stability, there will be no term limit or duration applied to the uh, period of regency. Historically, rash decisions have been greatly contested, resulting in extended political turmoil or outright conflict. When the proper heir is found and the position is filled by someone worthy of the role, all the others will fall in and provide their support. 
Sounds nice by design, but the fact that there's no limit on that Regency, that could easily be abused to just continue it on and on and on and on and on. Yeah. Cobbled oh bits of dear. bone, exit from a journal covering various occult artifacts. They say... Mm -hmm. This sounds familiar. They say my mother was a witch, but the truth, as is often the case, depends on perspective and your place in the world. She relied on poisons made from exotic herbs and the blowfish, uh, bl bl blowfish that live in the reef waters near uh, Pandesia. Her power originated in hallucinogenics delivered through guile and or by force to those who crossed her. There was an unusual intensity in her gaze for certain, but it came from within, not from the outsider. Yeah, this it's what happened to anyone pushed to the absolute edge of sanity and survival who stays there for years then returns to walk among the men uh, among the sheep in so-called civilized society my mother was crafty but if it was anything more than powders hidden knives and guile i never saw it okay this is not this is new like they tell children some of those truly touched by the black-eyed bastard can move through the space between rooftops like a sparrow blink Others command armies of rats or poisonous flies, uh, devouring swarm, as easy as they wriggle their fingers and toes. The overseers are right to fear us, to warn the common folk to stay near their homes at night and keep their families close. But there are other ways his influence manifests itself. Those who serve me share in some of what I can do, and I suspect it's the same for Delilah Coverspoon's coven. Then there are those who craft runes and charms. The old woman across town, they call her Granny Rax, she carves and polishes the bones of whales, stringing them together and opening them to the void until they moan like the fever sick on a cold night. I found a few of her talismans, and with each one I touched, a tiny piece of me departed and sold in with her. What, uh, what does she gain? A longer life? Some other kind of power I don't understand? The making of such things is the moyant Okay, so this whoever wrote this new of you know, Delilah, or hmm. I've known four people in my time who carried the mark of the outsider, but I've known dozens more who wanted it, who stood at night in stagnant ponds or begged with the dust blowing through graveyards. People who gutted farm animals or burned the flesh of men, thinking it would call forth the void. I met the dying man once who had collected runes and charms for years. So <coughs> He crushed them all into powder, made a paste, and ate them, thinking he would uh, he could gain whatever magic was in the things. His death was long and painful. I also knew a woman from Karnaka who would trade for charms and other bits of whalebone. She cracked them apart and fused them back together, then sold them. I bought one of the, these corrupted charms that she swore uh, would cause sharp metal to break on my skin, and it worked. But each time it did, one of my teeth uh, turned black and fell out. After a third, a third time, I gave it to one of my men. Now when he smiles, it's all bleeding gums, and I wonder what parts inside him are turning black. Okay. Sometimes I ask myself, without these gifts, would I be a man to fear? Uh, would I be called the Knife of Dunwall with... Oh, oh, oh this is... Dowd wrote this, it seems. And I thought I'd just set that... There we go. Would I be, meant, would I be called the Knife of Dunwall? You know, with my name whispered through the markets and the alleyways, the high towers and drawing rooms? I'd like to think so, but it really doesn't matter. As long as I bear this mark, I'll use whatever craft I have to force my will on the world. The harder trick is undoing what I've done. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds very much like... Yeah, doubts certain wrote that and where the hell is that rune? I hope it's not on the rune to be behind you to stop you. There. Yeah, oh, so let's just silence that thing. You. Oh, blueprint! Let's see, same 
powers as before. And it looks like we actually imported our powers as well. Because we that got Blink good. Time, Blink 2, Void Gaze 2. And apparently we start off with an extra rune as well. Or maybe we had one spare because we picked up one, one rune there, but we have we've got two. Let's see. Movement is increased, not really useful. Uh, let's save up for bend time. And gets the armor. Yes, we know that. Bonded Govani Resin. That's a new one. Okay. Metaphysica Mysterium. Excerpt from a longer band work on supernatural ritual. It is said that we should not sully our hands when combating the force of the void. My studies have been deemed heretical by my brothers, but the rewards have been invaluable. I have harnessed the same energies employed by the outsider and his accursed followers when avoiding, uh, while avoiding their corruption. I will prescribe a twofold method in this text. Indirection. Allow the unwholesome powers of the outsider. Yeah, uh, as the unwholesome powers of the outsider use living flesh as a conduit, you can avoid being tainted by using the flesh of others instead. Containment. By using channels and barriers, we can focus these void energies in a raw state, shielding them from the perverse perspectives of the outsider. I think we've read something similar at one point. Yeah, I recall that. In Thomas's journal, there was mention of a Thomas, er, uh, Thomas earlier. A recent journal entry written in a careful hand. Our troubles begin with the name, Delilah. Mystery given to doubt by the face he sees in his dreams and whose voice he hears when kneeling at the shrines hidden in the lost parts of the city. None of us have ever heard this voice, but we know its power. It spoke to our master, telling him of his coming doom and saying that solving this riddle was the only way to escape. We know nothing of Delilah except that we found a whaling ship by that name. It's an eight at a tenuous connection, but where the outsider's word is concerned, there are no coincidences. We discovered the ship was named after a woman who once walked the halls of Dunwall Tower with Jessamine Caldwin. Later, she became a painter, an apprentice of Sokolov himself, until she snared an aristocratic patron named Arnold Timish. This sounds like a, a recap for people who haven't played the first DLC. Okay, we met with Tim's niece, who offered us information on Delilah in exchange for eliminating her uncle. Removing aristocrats was our specialty, so our master agreed. With barrister Arnold Tim's gone, his niece divulged everything she knew. Delilah was much more than a painter, and she was hiding in the old Brigmore Manor outside the city. But by uh, then we were too late. Delilah anticipated our threats. For some time she had been working her corruptive influence on the best of us, the assassin Billy Lurk. Delilah turned Lurk against us, and together they sold us out to the overseers. When we returned to our hideout in the Flood District, we were swarmed by gold masks and hounds. But Dowd is quick and wise in our trade. In the end, he kept us alive, though there were losses. I don't know. Hey. Boom. Now our resources are strained. Some of the men are grumbling. I see the strain on Doubt's face. Cling the Empress, handing over her daughter. Those are not easy burdens to bear, and Lurk's betrayal weighs on him heavily. His sleep is troubled by curses and shouts. Hey there. Yeah, we just started on the for, on the second DLC. I accidentally skipped the intro bit, but I very much doubt it would add too much more to it. And yeah, this is just a book that recaps the first DLC. Now we make preparations to strike back at Delilah. She is planning something in Breakmore, something that affects everyone in the Isles, and she will be expecting us. Like our master, she shares her gifts from the outsider with those who follow her. How many are they, I wonder? I have no secrets from my master. My loyalty is without question, but I fear these may be, may be the last days of the Whalers, perhaps the last days of doubt. Okay. Yeah, there's so many freaking books here. The Whalers, excerpt from a journalist report on organized crime activity. One gentleman of advanced age swore that his brother had been taken by the Whalers, a notorious gang associated with a man called Dowd. According to Peter Mansfeld, his brother Radolf, uh, Radolf was proud of working with the Royal Spy Masters Responsible Citizen Group. 
feeling no shame in reporting on what he perceived as shady dealings by his rivals at the fish markets. But this might have been the source of his trouble. On the sixth evening of the month of hearts, Radoff came storming into Peter's home, white-faced and panic-stricken, claiming to have been chased by a group of ruffians wearing the leather suits and vapor masks used by the men working in the, oil, in the whale oil factories. Peter gave him supper and drink, sending him on his way later in the night, after which Radoff was never again seen. And I'm pretty sure we've read that one before, so that one we are skipping. <laughs> I found Lizzie Stride. Getting her to lend us her boat will be a bit complicated, however. She's in Coldridge. From what I hear, they've got enough on her to hold her for about a thousand years. Coldridge. We can use this. We'll get her out. And Stride will have to pay back the favor. We'll have our transport. Ready to leave, sir? Or should I wait? Mm, there's probably stuff still hidden around, but let's just go. We've been here long enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, no, that, no, we. It seems we did miss a rune and a corrupted charm, but oh well. <laughs> all of the what? money, like all yeah. of the money, you lost. You forgot five hundred coin. Okay, a stay of execution for Lizzie. You need Lizzie Stride's boat to reach Delilah's stronghold at Breakmore Manor. Unfortunately, the leader of the Dead Eels gang is locked up in Coldridge Prison, and you've got to break her out. And so we're getting back to this place. Hopefully with less of a body count this time, but no promises. How do you Delilah fuck up doesn't Coldridge leave Breakmore Prison. Manor anymore. She doesn't have to. Which means I have to come to her. The manor's upriver, far out past the quarantine line. I'll need a ship. I've lived in Dunwall's underworld a long time. I know the players, gang leaders, madams, corrupt officials. But what I need is a smuggler who knows the river, someone I can trust. It's a reflection of Dunwall, or perhaps myself, that after all these years, the best choice I have is Lizzie Stride. And Lizzie Stride is in jail. Did you poke his finger off or something? Probably. Uh, looks like. <laughs> and we've seen this before. Okay, armor and boot stealth. Okay. And also all of that. Uh, yep, let's get that, because we want to be as stealthy as possible. You're and also flat broke, you can't buy anything else. Now we can buy <laughs> one or two of these. Let's see. Overseer Doubt, you are disguised as an overseer. An overseer has been summoned to Coldridge Prison. Your contacts will intercept him and send you in his place. Using this overseer's uniform as a disguise should fool the prison guards long enough to get you inside. Okay. Forged, re uh, forged uh, requisition. Which precision orders allow your contact to deliver stun mines? Misplaced rune. Let's let's actually do this one. Yeah. Yeah, it says we wanna well as low corruption as possible. But corrupt chaos, I mean chaos. This should get me in the front door at least. Looks like I'll need to check in with those guards by the gate. It reminds me actually, it did the book the, the book Overseer. earlier mentioned gold mask, but they maybe I've not gotten a good look, but most of them didn't look gold to me. That one did, but most of them look Come white to me. About time, Overseer. We sent for you hours ago. There was a problem with the water lock. Fine. Listen up. The incident took place in the interrogation room. Cross the yard and keep going straight. Anything else is off limits. Understand? Don't go exploring. Don't speak to the prisoners. We're not here to listen to you preach. Don't forget you're in Coldridge now, not the Abbey. We asked you here for one reason. 
I'll be gone before you know it. Okay. We still have to be stealthy. And probably once we start sneaking around where we're not supposed to, you'll probably go pull a hostile on us. But at least this will be an easier and more interesting way to get inside, at least. Yeah, for some reason, I'm putting a thing wrong, Mr. Refugees. Probably on how you will mess this up. Section B are under quarantine until further notice. Prisoners who have been transferred to Section B will be observed for signs of infection. If I walk in by the Ark Pylon. Morris lost his nerve in the sewer no gates. Neither of them knew anything. They died to satisfy the Lord Regent's office. And Officer Thorpe? Thorpe slipped him the key. Everyone knows that. He got weak. They paid him off, but he couldn't tell us who it was. And believe me, he wanted to by the end. You've seen Corvo train, haven't you? Once he had the key, there was no stopping him. And the way he went off that bridge... How do you stop a man who'll make a jump like that? Like he doesn't care. Or like he's more than human. Do you think he's a... Uh... I think we played that overseer noise for a reason. I think there's more happening here than any of us know. Okay. So one was executed for helping. I'm not saying it would be easy. But I can Someone's do it. Supposed to be Once the cell door's open. <clears throat> you... How? In the first rush, I take two, three, before they get their swords out, pick up their pistols. I'm a good shot. How good? I'm better than most of the people here. It's a fact. If I keep moving, I can take the rest one-on-one. -on -one. It'll be bloody, but it's doable. You're not thinking. If a fight even starts, you'd be finished. When that alarm goes, your odds are just about zero. Me? I just keep quiet, slip by when no one's looking, take as long as it takes. Either way, you'd have to be lucky, and a complete madman. You'd have to be Corvo, in other words. Yeah, high chaos versus low hey, chaos. Jerry, you're such a chopper. <laughs> and yeah, for now, let's see what there actually is, is going on over here. Right oh, twisting that round! None of the guards that went in to question her came out. Question her? Careful. Who did they question? And what the hell went wrong? <laughs> Everything and probably Lizzie. No, oh, no, stupid goddamn. Don't let son of a. Pardon me? Talk oh, to the guy. This is the Abbey's problem now. Yeah. Do whatever you need to do. I'm not sticking around. And don't leave any, what do you call it, black magic lying around. I don't want to be cursed or anything. What happened here? Some gardening happened here. Uh, I can hear that. Oh, and let's grab all of that while we're here. Let's see. Bang, 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 bang. Lieutenant Wright, the hatter we brought in was trying to stash this loot in the canal uh, in the canal when we busted him. Looks like he he's the one who hit Lord Brimore's carrots a few nights back. As far uh, so far he has not named his accomplices, but he will once he gets his turn in the interrogation room. Document everything and then deliver it to the Lord Regent's <laughs> office. And make sure none of it gets lost along the way, where it's both our heads. Ashfield. Well, guess well, they're both screwed now. <laughs> let's see, let's get that. And break more chest key. What's that doing here? Let's see. Interrogation log 425. Uh, uh, prisoner th location of collaborator in theft of goods. Method heated metal bolts applied to feet. Outcome promising response at first, but the subject lost consciousness due to shock. Uh, uh, confession to felonism, method sleep deprivation, Dis outcome disorientation, subject falsely confessed to crime as well as other unrelated acts. Uh, 
very pleasant people here, huh? Location of a weapon <laughs> cache, types of attacks on river patrol checkpoints, water tank. Attack mechanism malfunction, subject drowned. Good job, dumbass. Name of conspiracy, organizer, engagement with phobia, spider. Subject yeah, divulged the information before the hatch to the spider basket was even opened. Yeah. Well, at least, well, one in four is a percentage. Not a good percentage, certainly not. <laughs> Uh, dear Officer Ashford, I would like to uh, most humbly request access to documents concerning the new experimental choke dust which you may have recently found yourself in possession of. I understand this is a delicate subject matter and I assure you every precaution will be taken with the documents to ensure they remain confidential. If access to these documents is agreeable to you, please have one of your men deliver them to my soul. Respectfully, your friend in the A25. Okay. So I'm trying a bit of bribery. Is she strapped in right? Good. Doesn't look like much, does she? Comfortable? All right, we'll get this done. Let's start with how you got into Dunwall Tower in the first place. Was it one of the servants that let you in? One of the guards? Nothing? All right. Corporal, use the hammer. That's right. The smaller one. Hmm. Can't really tell if she felt that. Don't want to break anything. Let's try again. How did you... Wait. You hear a kind of ringing in your ears? What's happening to her face? Is she going to... Oh no! Oh no! Shoot her! Shoot her! Shoot her! Well, that ended badly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it started badly, it just got worse. Okay, and now did you have to pull out your freaking sword? And... Yes. Does this mean that she's technically still alive? Or has, has Dark Vision been able to keep an eye on... Yeah, it has been able to keep an eye on corpses as well. Now holster your weapon before they cut you in half. I'm not sure, even sure if there is a button to. Look at the options menu. That's a gun. That's a no. Let's mm. start. Hang on. Yes. Controls. Oh, da -da 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 -da. Sword attack. Zoom. Mm -hmm. Nope. No holster. So uh, well. we'll have to see if they react to it or not. Mm. And they do not. Okay. Now we just have to get to where we need to be without drawing too much attention. What are you? Hmm. He's not being missing something. And that that was only to get inside. This disguise won't help me if I'm caught in the restricted way. They found come, you. Where the, where the hell did he come from? Behind you. Okay, let's just speedy our way out and into a corner. That was probably... Actually... Ex Remember to take extra care in tra uh, logging transfers, even temporary transfers of prisoners from one cell to another must be recorded in the logbook. Ensure that the logbook is available in the guard booth between sections C and D at all times. And uh, hello there in the chat, Pram 6 Hello. Stand clear. Hello. Okay, do we? Yes, we. Let's take care of you. And we're out of non-lethal takedowns. Except for that. Procedures following the escape of Corvo Atano. Okay. 
Following the escape of Corvo Ortano, the council appointed by the Lord Regents has decided it is of the utmost importance to increase security measures at Corvo's prison. The recommendations made by this report include structural measures such as increasing the height of walls, sealing ventilation shafts, and ensuring sewer entrances are inaccessible. Additionally, staffing at the site must be increased to thoroughly cover all exits and maintain observation of all major corridors. Special addendum. In addition to the new measures outlined herein, the Council has consulted both the Abbey of the Everyman and Royal Physician Anton Sokolov, who is also head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy, asking for guidance and equipment in the handling of those cases which are more exotic in nature. While we have dismissed reports of the supernatural in the past as old wives' tales and lunatic hearsay, recent months have convinced us that there are matters of report that we do not fully understand. As such, prison executive personnel are encouraged to welcome the presence of both the overseers and anyone working on the Sokolov's technical guidance. Okay. And I can see a new one coming. Oh, get the... Uh, you might want to hit the restart button. Yeah, we're, we're trying not to save scum as best as possible. So we'll just have to stay hidden whilst these idiots go looking around. Hey, yeah. hmm? Did you just Goomba stomp another one? Yes, but he didn't die because he was alerted. I gotta get back right now. Okay. We'll find you. Where are you? One done. Steal his pants. What happened? Check out the head. Forget it. I'm going back. And about a dozen more to go. Wait, did did your room say steal his pants or strangle him with the pants? Oh, hey, a bone charm. Yeah. It's, it's very charming. Reinforced bolts, we know what that one does. It's a, It gives a chance for bolts to not break upon being used. Or at least the lethal ones. I'm going back. Okay. He brought no smart guy. And I've got to get back right now. Where okay, that, they're all bunching together. Get up. Uh, By the way, our pilot. Okay. I'll flush you out. Are they going to end up piling on top of each other here? Oh, yes, they are. That <laughs> 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 isn't a fucking bread trial of dumbasses. Uh oh. Rouse yourself. Wake up. We know you're here. I've got to get back right now. Leave for you. Help. Hit the alarm. Sound she made. Sound the alarm. It looks like. That's an arc pylon. No, that's an alarm. This guy is no longer effective. Okay. It's, it's this one, but we have no rewire tools. So, where is. Where's this thing? Power source. It has no power source. It has an internal one. It's, it's literally a wind up toy. Then shoot it. Maybe that will help. That will work. I don't think so. Okay. Oh. Okay. This probably would have helped if I was crouching. Probably. There. Now they, now they can't get to me. And hello. Let's see. When you hear the alarms in the courtyard tonight, make a break for the front gate. Jump from the bridge and swim through the sewer entrance. You won't get another chance now that the Empress Assassin has escaped. Watch out for the rats. 
Uh, yeah, they they would have run, run into a sealed sewer entrance because they already think they already know uh, Corvo got out that way. Oh dear. We're probably going to need to use this to get uh, right, yeah, Lizzie eight, out. Eight, five. Mm. I very much doubt that there will Liz Lizzie in there. But at the very least, we'll probably find some chokes yeah, dust in there. Okay. Let's see one there, mm. one here. Snickers. I know you're here. <laughs> Surprise hug. Three, two, one. Oh. Okay. And another surprise hug. come from to there keep the hatters away from the eels the one in section d instead 11 try to attack that former dead eel leader again we can't afford any additional investigation or mistake right now so keep them apart okay so d11 knows where lizzie is or should know oh heal up and ow This area even accessible? Yes, it is. And I just heard an arc pylon activate. Just wait until there's no bars between us. You got anything to say? No, but someone was chilling. You know. Unsecured prisoners active on the premises. All cold rich personnel. Shout if you see. Yes, yes. Right, where is <laughs> Hello, boys. There's a perfectly reasonable explanation for this. And someone's trying to be a rat. I need a key. Oh! Oh, you almost did! Yes, I do this. Heal! Yeah, I'm out of point. I'm out of those. Oh. Okay. Ammunition locker key. Okay. Not this key. And at the very least, we should have some. Actually, I don't know if they can Wait. reach us here. Actually, look down. A25 might be open. Okay, some people were having poker in their cell. Or hold, yeah, having holding up a game of poker in their cell. Let's eat that can and all. Uh, where are we actually? Look down the cell numbers. Okay. There are unsecured prisoners active on the premises. All cold prisoners detained. What wrong? What wrong? Currently in a restricted area. Ethical experimentation. I've managed to get my hands on an experimental formula being tested right here in Coldridge Prison. A mixture, to pro uh, a mixture the prison guards call choke dust, which is normally capable of rendering prisoners vulnerable for a few moments. However, this new formula has the potential to make uh, the victim forgetful as well. Uh, it's as if once breathed in, the, the dust causes an acute temporary stupor. Okay, that might that that's yeah uh, should be useful. Let's see, modern incar oh modern incarceration, incarceration technology. 
Once again, I have been asked to solve the problems of the dismal past. <clears throat> Pardon? And, and once again, I have delivered the solutions required by our present... Uh, I have... By our present situation. As with you know, all my work, it is simply that a mind capable of understanding their potential is required. For the benefit of the Lord Regent and to the detriment of those incarcerated in Coldridge Prison with the, an aptitude for escape, I have recently adapted one of my inventions for deployment in that dank and depressing place. Uh, the potential function of these devices at the prison should, be, uh, should now be clear to all following the latest round of testing. With the associated power complications resolved, I have therefore recommend I have therefore recommended a stage two implementation starting at once. The first stage involves a recent device, simple de dis employee, designed to stun the escaping prisoner. The second is a more powerful deterrent, the lethal and uh, increasingly popular arc pylon. In combination, properly applied, these devices will make Coldrick Prison inescapable. Okay, so. Okay, I don't think the arc pylons were designed uh, after Corvo escaped, but the choke dust certainly was. Because I'm pretty sure in the first mission after Cold Ridge, we already ran into one of those things. So it can't have been uh, developed that fast. Okay, so it was D11, right? The cell where the other guy was. Yeah. D11, I think. That's not... Okay, Why did I not get the option there for a moment? Oh, well. Yeah, D11 picked a fight with uh, Lizzie, Nine. but... No that was a rat he said to die to. But I thought he got spotted once again. Nice. Nobody's making rounds over here. Someone there. An alarm, alarm there. And I think the alarm finally shut up. <coughs> okay. Let's see, there's a logbook where we can see where Lizzie is. Hmm. Let's take a quick look. Okay, now it is this A. We have C here, we have D there. So it's not by the level. Okay, we could use those. A11. There are unsecured prisoners active on the premises. Yes, yes, All shut up. Cold Ridge personnel detain or hmm. kill anyone currently in a restricted area. Possible as kid prisoner, they say. You know. supposed to be on duty the heck's with this? <laughs> okay, I thought those could be broken. Clearly not. Congratulations, you don't have everybody on your ass again. <laughs> he, he's the he I know you're here somewhere. Uh -huh. Okay. We'll find it. I slipped away quick enough there. Someone's being a bit chatty somewhere. Trembling hands, blood from the eyes. Any day now it'll start. And we can heal up. <laughs> you should get where you're going, little man. Get out. Where is he? Hey, why is this now D? We're there are just unsecured prisoners one active on the premises. I'll never ask anything. Yeah, yeah, personnel. shut up. He wants a thing. Maybe you can talk to him. Yeah, he wants to get out. So uh, he can start trouble. Would that bring high filter? She's in rough shape. Okay, that is A21. And we were right next. <laughs> we entered her cell right next to hers. Okay. Oh, uh, hello, boys. I did not notice that little gap here until I jumped. Well, that would have been fucking useful. Here you are. Assassin, help! I got the alarm! 
Yep. Oh. Okay, I'm <laughs> not really in reach there. But we know where she you... should be now. You broke let's see both where this of God's kneecaps. Yeah. Well, we know there should there should have been a bunch over there. Oh, there they are. <laughs> okay, this time it wasn't to here that we there it is. Okay, A twenty one. Oh, right. I'm assuming only one can be open at a time. If they're smart, it is. You're assuming a lot from these guards. True. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, right at least now. less of a fall this time, and yes, this time I did keep an eye on the landing points. Somewhere, scum. Okay. Okay. Now, let's get to you finally. Wake up, Lizzie. I'm not telling you shit. We. Who? Down. Is that right? Whoever sent you, I'll pay double. I've come to break you out. You can owe me the favor. What kind of favor? Doesn't matter. You'll be dead in another day here. What kind? It's just a boat trip. Up river. Past the blockades. Then you're out of luck. My boat, the Undine, now belongs to someone else. My second-in-command double-crossed me and took it. A little shit named Edgar Wakefield. It's a situation I'm familiar with. Can you walk? Get me out of this damn thing and I'll fly. I can pay you to get rid of Wakefield. It'll be my pleasure. Come on. I'll just get my tiara. Okay. Don't get beaten by her! Now I'm, I'm kind of curious what would happen if we just pulled the release lever. <laughs> she probably would have just dropped straight on the face. Like that, but a bit closer to the ground. Down. I think I... Oh. Well, well, fuck. Well, at least we won't have to worry about her biting our fingers. If you don't bite your back, it... You notice what she had done to her teeth, right? Yeah, sharpened them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so by the way, keep an eye out for the arc pylon. I don't think it's active, or we were... It's... No, it's not active. There's no fuel. Ah. Okay. Now, let's have a little look. We have some people moving around, and we have one moving a lot less around. Let's see. We have one little... one of these left. Okay, that's one run off. <laughs> okay. Unsecured prisoners active on the premises. All Cold Ridge personnel detain or kill anyone currently in a restricted area. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, I think we can just re make have a repeat of last time here and just run out and jump. Oh dear. Uh, hopefully she won't drown. Just gotta wait for him to turn. Uh, let's. Actually, we could just go to here. Okay, wait for it to recharge. Okay. 
Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm guessing it... I'm guessing uh, it's not flood season. It's not. What the... Rom, what are we to do with Hidian? Um... I don't know, he already killed himself, so... Okay, this time... There... And then just up, there are up, and away. Prisoners active on the premises. All cold rich personnel. Yeah, all these people are gonna lose their jobs. Okay, we can just sneak around here. There isn't but a overseer. Now I'm too curious. I, mean, I know shopping your teeth like that is very bad for your teeth, but I want to put it in what manner it's bad for your teeth. It removes the protective layer completely. So basically, easier get to get holes and all other teeth diseases. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, this is a lot easier. And oh, I see why they. They fucking damned it. Oh, that, that would mean that uh, the one with the escape plan would have just run out and done the same thing we did and only would have real... Oh, actually, I think here they are. Or if they have been, they've been here for a while. Yeah, that was the worst escape plan ever of all time. Dying with a crushed pelvis. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you just you the freedom and immediately crush your own pelvis on the railing. She's beaten, but not oh. dead. See that her wounds get attention. It will be done. Ready to go, sir. Okay, yeah, let's leave. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we uh, accomplished this a lot faster than the first mission of the previous DLC, where it took two freaking hours. Let's Two go. hours, and, none of, and we fucked up a side quest on the way over. You have rang two alarms, no deaths. <laughs> and six people were found. You found one rune, one bone charm, no corrupted runes, no outsider shrines, and some cash. Ghost? Yes. Ne never detected. That's in a, something you can go for. And yeah, we missed three things, but oh well. Dunwall is changing fast. Six months ago, Draper's Ward was where Dunwall's rich and well-born strolled and shopped and tried to be seen. The plague burned through it in days. Today, it's a battleground where two street gangs fight over the spoils, the Hatters and Lizzie's gang, the Dead Eels. Lizzie Stride was the boss until Edgar Wakefield betrayed her and took her place and the riverboat. It's the kind of thing that happens every day in Dunwall. I don't judge him. I've done worse myself. But I need that boat. Edgar Wakefield and I have business. Oh dear. Okay, the baffle dust. Okay, range, boat capacity. Bone charm. Let's see. Favors. The sunken crates. Allied whalers will dump a crate loaded with supplies overboard near the Undyne. You will have to dive to retrieve the contents. Okay. A hidden rune. Roth, former Rothwild laborer. Laborer you saved from the jail cell in Rothwild slaughterhouse has some useful information for you. Meet him at the textile mill. That's something that carried over from the previous. So let's go get that. We can afford it. Actually, we, we have quite a bit of cash from one, from uh, the uh, or from the ingots that got lost. <laughs> Give from Abigail Ames. Abigail Ames has contacted you through your network. She is offering a bone charm that might be useful to you in exchange for a small fee. Okay. I think she's also from the first mission of you know, Knife of Dunwell. Hmm. Yeah, she stabbed the... Uh, yeah, we went to get the information back and she immediately stabbed the guy like, Oh no, he fell and had a weak heart and shit. I was like, you bitch. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, the rest we spend on sleep darts. And done. The textile mill used to run off a water wheel before the canal went dry. It started up again recently. And whatever the Hatters did to get it working has enraged the dead eels. They're fighting in the streets. Okay, Ramsey in chat, what kind of game is this? It looks cool. This is Dishonored, uh, one of Arcane's uh, games. We've been here eight years. We ain't leaving. When's your old man coming out to fight? We've been making something for you, little eels. What's the matter? Too much knitting to do? <laughs> Crawl back to the river. You ain't a real gang. You're just a bunch of mudlarks. Come on and fight. Or are you too busy making dresses? Come uh, yeah, let's let those idiots kill themselves off, even though they're at the one po exit point that we have here. But uh, yeah, th this is Dishonored, one of Arcane's games. Another one uh, for me. Oh, the, the eels won that. Okay. Uh, this is the second DLC of the game, actually. That is why I have it put in the title. And, well, it's the tenth time that we've streamed this game. It, it is a very good game, but uh, I have... There are some uh, complaints that could be made about it. One that I've heard is that uh, yeah, to get the good ending, you're kind of... Yeah, you kind of have... Well, good as in the low chaos ending you can you have to avoid conflict where possible and in that way you are limited quite a lot in what you can do since well you're pretty much forced into stealth gameplay with that which yeah, there's it uh, makes a lot of the other powers uh, less useful these are not the powers you'd get in the main campaign since we are playing as a different character than, yeah, the main story. Hello. Out of business notice. To my loyal customers, I have done my best to provide a provis uh, provisioning service to you even after all the decent citizens have abandoned Draper's Ward. But now it's clear that yeah, there is no livelihood for me here now, and the association with you all will eventually cost me my life. Those who have never wronged me, I suggest you take their business to Jerome. He can be found on a second floor apartment just a stone's throw away from here, next to Millen Millenary, Millen Millenary uh, Canal. His prices will climb now that I'm gone, but he seems like a fair enough man. For those who have harassed me, stolen from me, and driven me from my home, I hope you suck on the barrel of a city boy's pistol someday. I'm sure you will all meet violent and hot, unhappy endings. Goodbye, Mr. Mitchell, Mitchell's Marketplace. <laughs> to everyone that didn't fuck me over, there's another guy you can get your stuff from. To everyone that did fuck me over, I hope you suck on a gun and a cop's pistol. Fuck you. Did someone just run past here? Yeah, it looks like. Okay, these gangs are really at each other's throats. No shit. I admit, I'm stymied. I thought dragging it up out of the mud was the hard part. But I have no idea how to open it. Why does that guy have purple pants? Really? Look at that thing. You think hammers will break it open? Explosives. And they got a safe with a single ingot. Then we got a share. And what if it calls some eels? There must be a way. And the eels win again. If it wasn't locked. What? Of course it's locked. Look at it. You mean you haven't even tried it? What do you think I am? Stupid? I'm so I guessing that it's what doing yeah. down there in the mud. Eh, I'm boat. I'm to totally guessing that it's not locked. Yeah. And we'll first have to get rid of these good. bozos. You picked up anything good? 
It is 100 coins, but it could also be said it is just 100 coins. Uh, oh. Okay, we haven't gotten any of that yet. That would be useful for this. I very much doubt it will... Mm, maybe we can grab that guy when he's standing there. Depending on the line of sight of this guy. Or he seems to be... Mm, he has a... He has a lot wider area of sight well, than the, to the good life, other, it seems. And I'm standing here like an idiot. Yeah, he, he would totally see. So I'm guessing I'll have to lure him away. Or just knock them both out with trank darts. Won't choke us do the same? Oh. It, okay, they both have purple pink pants. Okay. Why? Fashion choices. I mean, unless you're the saint, unless you're the saint, you don't really pull up purple. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to dart this guy, uh, then choke out the other. The first going to wait for him to turn away again. He can sort of glance me at this distance. And hopefully when I shoot this guy, the other one doesn't notice. If he does notice, I can still just jump in behind him. There we go. That Investment of 30 work. coins. Okay. Okay. I'm surprised that that did went so smoothly. Yeah, I'm not completely incompetent if I can plan. Yeah, no, you're only slightly incompetent when you can plan. I'm more of uh, getting used to everything you seem to have a good plan. It gets ruined on, in the most unexpected way. Yeah. 50 bucks says that's the key. There we go. 100 coins. It was locked. Yeah, it was locked, but, but we found a key over there. And why is there a single coin on top of this? Okay, five, a five coin. Still, why is that up there? <laughs> Because somebody was trying to play Two Face and they wound up missing. <laughs> Let's see. Warning from an anonymous friend. Hello, friend. As instructed by our whalers, I have dredged this horrible th uh, horror thing up from the depths of the storm drains and placed it in the agreed upon location in the hopes that you and only you recover it. But be warned. Poor fortune has followed me every step of the way since laying hands on this thing, and I'm overjoyed that on the, uh, at, the yeah, at the prospect of leaving it here and being done with it. May it treat you better than it has me. You could have also just chucked the thing in the canal at any point, you know? <laughs> well, the thing is, they basically paid him to put this thing here. Yeah, but it sounds like he had it for longer since. Uh, and if some unlucky local has stumbled upon this wicked bone, he heed these two warnings. As I have said above, poor fortune will find you. But more importantly, this is intended for delivery to the most dangerous man in the Empire. If you are in possession of something he wants, you may count your remaining hours on one hand. Okay, that is that is a bit of a badass warning. Right! Come! Okay, that coin being there gives me the idea that someone was being bored and just chucking coins on there to see if they could land it. Okay. Riverfront is over there. Uh, oh, now they're being attacked by rats. And yeah, those things will just complete. Will just jump on you. And so well, they're dead. Uh, not our problem, since we're not doing the killing. It shouldn't count towards the chaos. Emphasis on should. Don't forget Abigail's gift. Yeah. Actually, where? Oh, it's, that's over there. 
Okay, let's try and get to this one first. If we can eat it. No, we cannot. Definitely somewhere. Nice. Watch it. Yep. They I don't think there's ones to go down here. But still. You just shot at them how to keep and you should be safe. Yeah. You found out what it was? Rothwild's place. That was also the booms we heard. Blown apart. Oh, yeah. Burned. Completely gone now. Wow. I bet that was something to see. And the oh, wrong button. That was the <laughs> the whale oil uh, factory that we blew up. <laughs> okay. No. Okay, in there. But hello. Is that a hander or an eel? Yes. Um, I don't think we're gonna give a proper answer on that one. Hmm. Hey, look! The image is on the rubber front, on the rubber front. Yeah, I think that's a completely different place because that's the uh, one of the other uh, countries mm -hmm. here. I know, yeah. but it's still nice. funny. Doors on this side. We can... I don't. I'm not sure if I can jump this high, but it's worth it. Definitely worth a try. Oh, are you? Are you Jerome? You are Jerome. I'm also just taking that and all of this. Half the city's dead. We won't make it three more months. Oh, hello. Uh, I was totally not robbing you. All these rats. Try and talking to Jerome. Welcome to the Draper's Ward Salvage and Resale, or the Black Market if you'd prefer. It's Dowd, right? Recognized your face from the posters. Not that I'd ever say anything to anyone, believe me. I'd be happy to have you for a customer. What are you selling? The best of Draper's Ward, all for sale. You're also the only of Draper's Wards. Okay, Joe. Okay, at, at least he's not stiffing us on the price. Probably because he knows we could just <laughs> uh, shove our blades from uh, front to end and have it go all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stock up on those since we can. And uh, let's just get out before he <laughs> thinks to check his... Actually, we need to go back in. Sorry yeah, about that. Think? You didn't get something. How did he pass me by? All the others down with the sickness. Look up. <clears throat> oh. Jerome search for Oxrosh. Hello, Griff. I hope your business is going well. If you are interested, I have a little business proposal for you. The canal here in Draper's Ward has been dry for some time now. Enough time for the prized Oxrosh to come to bloom in the mods. Pardon? <clears throat> None of the ruffians patrolling this area know how special the flower can be, so I have no competition in harvesting them. But none of the alchemists or natural philosophers that can use them frequent this district anymore. Perhaps I can send you some bunches of Oxrash pedal, for a commission of course, and I can help you tap into an, an ammunition market here in Draper's Ward. The gangs have gone into full-scale war, so demand is high. Let me know your thoughts. Jerome. Okay, that's that plant that we picked up earlier, I how think. How pass me by? All the others down with the sickness. Hmm. Hold him. We looked over. All these rats crawling Strong over arms. Shut up. Oh, that, for, for a moment I thought he was bad mouthing us. Good though it's some dead. jackass outside. <laughs> make it through. Note from Abigail Ames. Doubt. Accept this as a small token of my appreciation for the work we did together in Wild's Wild's place. My sources say that this is the sort of thing you would go out of your way to find. May it protect you or empower you or whatever these things do. I hope we find ourselves on the same side of a cause in the future. We're a great ally. And yeah, she was the... Uh, she was the industrial saboteur who uh, 
how to blow up the, the Wailoi processor. And I think I recognize... Yeah, choking is fast. And this one is really useful. And it seems we also kept our bone charms from the last time. It's you really nice just thing. forgot them? Yeah. Having your weapons out doesn't slow you. Hmm. Less fall damage, slightly faster on carrying corpses, drop assassinations, summon assassins, more ammo, more health, or more healing. Very over very easily win contested interactions. I'm guessing it means like when we cross swords then. Yeah. Okay. Could be worded better, could be worded worse, I guess. I understand doing what's got to be done. All over everything. But Wakefield. Lizzie kept to a deal when she made it. She weren't no cheat. Exactly. After last night, I don't know who's going to buy from us. Nope. Some had her got unlucky. <laughs> and the only thing they didn't touch was the freaking hat. <laughs> What? Oh, hello. I get the rat for the sense of style. Yeah, nice. Well, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> are you a criminal or are you or the dressmaker? Try talking. How did it pass me by? All the other Let's down. turn that off first. Who are you? Are you with her? With her? Delilah. Are you with her? No, but you don't have any roses. What can you tell me about Delilah? I used to make clothing for the Caldwins, you see. I adored them, especially young, precocious Emily. She was such a delight. Did you ever meet the Empress? She was so special. And I was able to count her among my friends. I had a lock of hair from young Emily, a keepsake given to me by the family when my hands grew too stiff and clumsy to work the needle. I have treasured it so. And Delilah? She visited me here. Such a surprise to see her. All grown up. So serious. Did you know she was once a playmate of Jessamine's? Before she was Empress, when they were both little. I thought it was a cordial visit at first, but it turned frightening. What happened? She made things come out of the shadows, long and grasping. I can still feel the cold on my neck. I sound mad, don't I? Perhaps I am. She questioned me and then left me propped in the corner like a bolt of cloth. I couldn't move for three nights while she made the horrid markings you see now. Then she stole my only keepsake, my lock of hair from dear sweet Emily. Ah, uh, Emily, where are you? Damn, that Corvo. Depending on the Damn time frame, Delilah. either a whorehouse or a pub. Okay, that was... This is something extra that we stumbled upon. Uh, let's just work our way out of that. And let's see, what the heck is this? Pat, Patas? Okay. I can tell so much about a person yep. by their clothes. Yours tell quite a tale. Okay. How did it uh, some woman in a down barrel. A rat and fire. A rat and the leaf. A skull. All these antlers. Crawling all over farming equipment. A tree. And another rat in the middle. And we have. Even magic. Keys? Star or compass? Star. That that looks like a rune, but square. And the square rune. And 
Yeah. Uh, half of a cube. Mm. 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 A lock of Emily's hair. Okay. All these rats crawling all over everything. Note from Lady Boyle. My dearest friend, my costume ball will require three tailored outfits that are perfectly matching except for color. We are going to play a game with our guests, you see. I am saddened to hear of your deteriorating hands and the hard times on which you have fallen, as you were my first choice to craft these costumes. I will mention your physical disabilities, uh, physical difficulties to my doctor at the party. Perhaps can, he can be of some service to you. Farewell. Waverly Boyle. Okay, I guess uh, not all of the Boyles are uh, putrid. Hardly enough. Though I am quite be concerned with this man's obsession with a lock of hair. Let's just That's leave before this gets even more awkward. Crawling all over I'm, I'm guessing these are Emily's drawings. Or Jessamine's? Hmm. No time to fall, Possibly. Hmm. Draper's yard, finest purveyors in style and fashion. Okay. In the Empire. <laughs> no. Nobody around. Uh, okay, I'm guessing the rats didn't like the taste. Would have a kid before you finish the job. Most likely, but <laughs> them thinking it, <laughs> they taste like shit is probably more funny. Quiet in the city. Almost like it used to be. Used to be? Before the rats. Oh, it. I just dodged that one. Oh, yep, yep, what the... Let's get this guy. Okay. I think he got hit with tear gas. More piss buckets. Oh, come on. That, that should have landed me on top of there. Okay, Heal. pocket back down here. I, I'm out of healing potions. Let him go. Uh, I think that they're killing each other. Yeah, better them than me. Mom! Yeah, they're busy with each other. I, I, and I wedged myself in. <laughs> I'm guessing uh, Doubt's diet of meat and metal is to blame for that. Probably. Okay, what is with the textile mill, though? <coughs> I think there's Probably. something in there. The oh yeah, we were supposed to go to the textile mill because for some reason the dead eels created a, did a thing there. Okay. The password system. The hatters are getting organized. Okay. Then where are we going to find the password on that? Uh, not enough for that. One short. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Maybe. No. Maybe the password has something to do with hats. Uh, likely. And that was just a bit too close. <laughs> no shit. I gotta go to the bathroom. Be right back. Okay. Let's see. With Lizzie Stride free, you have a captain to take you up river. Unfortunately, Lizzie's second com in command, Edgar Wakefield, is running the old gang and won't hand over the ship without a fight. Deal with the trader Wakefield and help Lizzie get our ship in working order. Okay, and we're back here now. How did it pass me by? All the others down okay. with the sickness. Let's check all of this again. Get some cash. All these rats crawling all over everything. Okay, how are we going to find 
Oop. Okay, why was that hidden there? How are we going to find that code? All these rats. Don't tell me this. Don't tell me this will work. It almost worked if he didn't fall over like that. I missed that before he had to lag up at that moment. Yeah, I just, I choked out. They were standing in front of each other. I choked out the back one and was going to grab the other, but the body hitting the floor alerted him. Someone's about and yeah, my my boots are now stealthy enough that I can just walk up to someone without them getting alerted. Money, 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 money. This post is awful. I almost broke my neck getting up here, and all day they had us keep taking shots at me like I'm some sort of carnival game. This morning I saw some lady on the glass roof across the uh, canal, uh, and it kind of has me worried. I think she looked right at me. How did she get up there? Are the hatters recruiting ladies now? Anyway, since she's been up there, I can barely make out this thing she left behind. Can't tell what it is from here, but come nightfall, I, I might just climb up there and have a look. Gonna be wary of that arc pylon they set up down there. If they have that kind of gear, we're just outmatched. I wish Lizzie was back. She'd get us out of this. Okay, so someone left something on the gra- yeah, not the grass, the glass roof. Why, why do I keep messing up, messing up R's and L's? History of the Draper's Wards. This chapter will focus on the once lavish Draper's uh, Wards. Before the reign of the Caldwin dynasty, the, lo uh, the locale held none of the prestige that it had and so recently enjoyed. Draper's Ward was once a simple manufacturing hub for fabrics and textiles, exporting new, uh, exporting raw re weaves to all corners of the empire. Water-driven mills turned day and night to meet the needs of the rapidly expanding cloth in this, the cloth industry. For decades, Draper's Ward supported the mild trade until key manufacturers began relocating factories to Circonus and Morley. The price of labor in these places was much lower than the limited availability of Dunwall Riverfront property, which was required to turn the mills, made expansion of operations impossible. At the, <clears throat> at the end of this period, declining production and abandoned factories created an opportunity for a new generation of skilled and ambitious industrialists. A loose confederation of clothing merchants, including such luminaries as Percy Oliver, Agatha Chesney, and Mortimer Hatt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds funny as a name, Mortimer Hat. <laughs> Established a new model of business, high-end clothing that was designed to appeal to Dunwall's elite, sold at a substantial markup. The best sir, sartorial designers from across the empire were lured to the boutiques of Draper's Ward, where they found themselves freed from the need to solicit patrons. In fact, they were uh, elevated to high society, courted and pampered. The powerful and influential began to frequent the new Draper's Ward, paying any cost to be seen in the latest styles. The district was wildly successful. Extravagant wealth and luxury among the proprietors and designers became the norm. But not all was glamour and fun. Reinventing Draper's Ward was an expensive project, and investigations into the source of capital funding this, this revitalization often led to dead ends. It was commonly whispered that Mortimer Hatt had been a ruthless gang leader in his early years. And it was a very poor secret among the city watch that he still commanded a private army of hardened men that would protect his interests, aka the Hatters. A terrible truth emerged over time. While the designers and merchants held court in exclusive boutiques, the mills and factories that produced the clothing were houses of suffering and abuse. Despite the coin generated by their business, the workers who stitched the garments never took part in the flow of wealth. Instead, Hats men enforced brutal working conditions on them. As this corruption intensified, with violence occasionally spilling out into the open streets, the well-to declined and for uh, their invitations to shop at the boutiques. Business fell pre uh, precipitously, and now with rumors of a plague looming on the horizon, the golden age of Draper's Ward may soon be at an end. Okay. Yeah, you could make some comments on uh, business with that as well. Hmm. How are we going to get up there? Probably through those, but we need a good angle to get on top. 
Okay, that is very sparky to be able to be <laughs> hear that from here. <laughs> I very much doubt that we can climb the freaking tree. But we might be able to climb that. Though our blink will be far short from that. I do like that Dowd's blink stops time so you can readjust in so can you yeah, you can readjust in midair. Actually. This is going to be a risk and is likely to get us killed. Okay, I thought it would have stopped in midair with us. Like this. Oh, if it stops if we're not moving front or back. If we're moving up or down, then it does. And yeah, I, mean, I did a running jump, so I was moving forward. Okay, yeah. That was a dumb on my end. There we go. Oh. Corrupted charm, the first one we did we found. Leverage. Okay. Uh, right, where is it? There it is at the bottom. Benefit. Pull power, distance, and speed are increased. Penalty. Mana cost for pull power is increased. Now that's the thing with these corrupted bone charms. They give a plus, but also a bonus. Yep. Also a minus. A plus, but also a yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, a plus, but also a minus. Also, how's it going? Uh, well, we got ourselves killed again by... <laughs> I actually know we... The last thing that killed us was the freaking arc pylon. But other than that, nothing much. Are they at it again? Hmm. Let's have a little look. Maybe we can overhear that password. But other than that, my best guess is that we... Almost like it used to be. Other than that, we might... Uh, find a note somewhere or something. Did he say other than doubt? Other than that. So what? I'm hearing something moving. What? The fan? Could be. Yeah, it's the fan. Okay. Someone is being confused somewhere. Let's see. Yo, yeah, come on, they put a freaking knocked on the heart pile on. <laughs> of course they did. Even the heart pilots are hatters. Does that mean that the dead eels put eels on their heart pylons? Question. Yeah. God, I'm tired. Hmm. Whatever. I think I'm gonna bail. You guys have fun. Have a good one. Good night, everybody. See ya. You stay calm. And yeah, thank you. yeah the, the eels don't have arc pilots because they don't have the finances. Yep. See ya and rest well. Yeah, see ya. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's death for the road. And that is probably going to put us back. Where the heck are we? Oh, up here. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Hmm. See ya. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, there isn't actually much. Uh, the Lord of Regions is a shriveled prick and a liar. Okay. There's, there's not much of the Hatter's territory here that we can. It's intending to land on the upper one. That we can investigate here. I don't know if there's any problem with them as they're still fighting. 
It's hard to know if they shooting themselves or you. Someone was kicked in the car. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, it, it, hmm? Gotta keep up. A part of me oh. thinks that uh, we we might have been able to overhear that Still password, not. but there's a good chance that the ones that were supposed to talk about that have likely gotten themselves killed. Hmm. Another border. Can you break an Orkhylon if you throw a whale on oil at it? Not sure, actually. I think the only way to take it out is to take out the power supply, but... See what I do then. It could be tested. But we'd first have to find some whale oil. And I think I saw some over there. Behind yeah, I it. I think I saw some under the stairs there. Quiet in the city. Almost like it used to be. Let me just a few. Caught out when the dead eels come across the canal? No thanks. Every man for himself. It is some there. <clears throat> Ew. Pardon? Ew. <laughs> but yeah, we can try that out. Actually. No, he's not having in. Could have been that might have been able to overhear the code if he went in. Okay, we have that guy there. He's just going to stay there. There's someone patrolling back and forth here. See? Wait for him to pass, then we grab that. And then chuck it on the pylon to see if that does anything other than piss off the locals. The way it spokes me, you wonder if it's uh, probably functioning. Nope. We're going to chat? No. The big guy left. Okay. I thought I... I thought I saw something there for a moment, but no, that's just a light on the base of the thing. Okay. Now I have to wait for a moment that they're both away from it, because again, we want to avoid high chaos. Okay, note to self, the railing is just within range of that thing. <laughs> and this one's basically the one you died most of so far. Yep. Okay, speed run this bitch. Quiet in the city. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Used to be. Miss. <laughs> Uh, we did seem to turn red for a Come second. Right I think we we'll... Oh, wait, hello. Oh, hello there. Oh, well, well those two are... Just give me... Because it's with this equipment, it is very delicate and requires a skill touch to operate. It is also quite lethal, so if you don't follow the proper procedures, you will cease to exist in the wink of an eye. Acquiring this technology took a great deal of politicking and expense, so I repeat, do not be reckless with it. Da -da -da. Nurse Trimble. So that was not a code, uh, a paper holding the code like I thought it'd be. And once again, Doubt's ass is a, yeah, a scorch mark on the nearest wall. Uh, okay, I'm getting a bit tired of this, as funny as it might be, to get my ass handed to me by a stationary object. Almost like that, maybe. I don't throw you a sneaker. Well, I ate them both. Okay, one last try, then we're just moving the hell on. And I might as well also try something 
because those two can stand next to it just fine. So we'll see what happens if we just pick one up and carry them and then go near it. And it'd be so easy to just shoot that thing and watch him go flying all the way down there. <laughs> but low chaos, so we have to restrict ourselves. Hmm. So in a, in a way, uh, the chaos system is somewhat limiting. In that, uh, yeah, it doesn't let us play as much as we, it l doesn't let us play as much as we'd want to. I get the feeling whatever is being used to identify them to that thing is in their hands. And that makes sense. Hello? Now. If... Is it going to... Yes, it is going to complain. Okay, moving on. The, the hell was that guy going? Uh, yep, moving on. Uh, I, yeah, I just get the feeling that wherever we were supposed to be able to find that code is either that notebook underneath the stairs, for which we'd need to deactivate that, for which we need to actually get in range of it, Actually, slow time could probably do that, but we don't we don't know for certain if that book holds it, so we're just moving on. Oh dear. But yeah, that, that strong arms you know, charmed is just so freaking strong. There we go. Oh, but the, you are very determined if you ran all the way across into enemy territory to get at us. What the, we just bounced off there for a second. Hello. Okay, do you have any health tonics in here? Please, I'll just freaking buy them. A sweet lady named Abigail left a little something for you. How did she know you were coming here? I have no idea. It's in my safe. Please, take it away. I've had nightmares since it arrived here. Oh, so... So he just gave us the key that we stole from him. <laughs> Say, oh, Pierce. you consider huh? doing a job for me? There's a man whose debt to me is well past due. I'm not a bill collector. I don't want the money. I want his head. I pay you well. And you can use the money to buy things from me. Mm. Low chaos, but let's at the least hear what is going I'll on with it. this. Huh. Thank you. Skin Flint is a chain smoker. He likes to light up in the old canal tunnel and play Nancy for coin. I'd start there. Make an example of him. Got it. Now let me see what you've got. The best of Draper's Ward. All yeah, yeah, sale. shut up. You're the only one in this selling here, so you're, you're the best by default. <laughs> Probably getting stiff on the price of this, but oh well. I guess the red out of, out of revision. And yeah, we're not really required. Wait. Hold on. There was something besides here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Skipping because low chaos. And again, one, a few deaths should can be able to be doable to still keep the count low. Yeah, though, since the only reward is money. And yeah. Oh. Is that? Just let him show his face. 
and we, we don't know if we're going to fail with the non-lethal options again. Okay. Could go back if wanted, but not really needed now. Wakefield's a hard man, but he's not as fun as Lizzie. Lizzie enjoyed it more. Yeah, even Lizzie never drowned victims in a sack. I can still see him squirming for air. Yeah, how's he gonna top that? I still suspect that they make the means. Yeah, if, if Lisa returns, then they probably glad they need to against the current leader. He's put all of the eels on alert since Lizzie's rumored to have escaped from Coldridge. He's expecting her. You will undoubtedly be a surprise to him. Okay. Trimble's coin. The third book on noteworthy intellectual figures. The halls of the Academy of Natural Philosophy are thought uh, to be places where uh, thoughtful discourse and enlightened tolerance set the tone for debate and learning. It is believed that reason applies above, else, uh, above all, and the passions of the great minds of the em um, greatest minds of the empire are tempered by wisdom and custom. This is the commonly accepted vision of the place, and it is almost always accurate. Almost. Sometimes a protected debate or disagreement can explode into conflict, and very rarely violence. Such was the case years ago in the month of winds. A young apprentice named Piero Joplin ventured into strange new directions of research in the preservation of mortifying tissue, a field that brought him into frequent conflict with a student called Trimble. Joplin and Trimble often debated loudly long into the night, and the content of these arguments was well beyond the understanding of most people of the Empire, the author included. Okay. The rivalry, the rivalry between the two natural philosophers raged for months, and what it is the climax of those events that prompted this writing. The two had argued deep into the night, the debate sliding into bitter personal attacks. At last they reached a terrible accord. Their mutual, hate, mutual hatred accumulated in a duel to the death with pistols. Under the great uh, sky of dawn, the greatest minds of the Empire of the Isles gathered in the courtyard in a fashion resembling schoolboys gathering to watch the bu uh, to watch two bullies fight. There's a W missing there. A quiet fell as Joplin and uh, Trimble accepted the ceremonial pistols, marked off the paces, turned and fired. Each combatant fired round after round, shattering windows, chipping masonry, and splitting uh, uh, plaster. The closest shot to the mark was Joplin's, whose bullet ripped through the hem of Trimble's overcoat. And it was clear that the dedicated uh, that study of the learned man had made for poor marksmanship. When all their ammunition was expended, both parties stood quivering with fear and rage, but unharmed. It was then agreed that the duel would be settled with a coin flip. A newly minted coin of the Empire was produced, bearing the face of Empress Jasmine Coldwin. It was sent spinning into the air, Trimble called has the coin landed tails. Joplin was declared winner, and the feuding between the men ceased. By the terms of the dispute, Trimble was forced to leave the academy, his studies left incomplete, whereupon a dignified silence returned to the halls of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, that would, that must have just been at once both terrifying, sad, and so amusing to witness. Uh. I hope someone animates this. Notes from a Hatter Spy. Mr. Hat, there has been interesting activity since our raid on the Dead Eels a few days ago. It looks like Wakefield has been rooting out Lizzie Loyalists and chasing them off or making an example out of them with some gruesome killing. I don't think he's got much of a hold on this gang, and things are likely to fly apart before long. Also, I swear I saw a woman lurking on nearby rooftops last night, spying on the eels. She saw me looking at her and just disappeared. Perhaps she'll know what to make of that? Oscar. Has my cat been spying on the uh, enemy <laughs> here? Let's see. There's the boat. Wakefield's probably. Whatever I do to him, 
It will be a mercy compared to what Lizzie has in mind. Yeah, she doesn't seem the most stable. But how can Hello? we take him out now? Lisa Lee, hello there. She may not be stable, but she at least a bit more... What are you looking at? Right? Like I said, she's not a cheater and not as ruthless as this guy. So maybe she is more stable than you think. Sitting next to the river. Or mm. canal at least. Just waiting to be taken. All those prancing nobles in their fancy masks. Strip them of their jewels and set them on fire. Finest time in the world. Drown them. Drowning's worse. Set on fire's worse. Drowned is worse. You ever see a man set on fire? What does he do? He jumps in the water. Very funny. I hear Lord Shaw is making his way to the party by boat, with only two bodyguards. What? How do you hear things like that? I have some connections. And Shaw is, I believe, the non-lethal way of getting rid of the boil ladies. Or the boil lady. Did and you do was that? expecting to miss John. Yeah. But wait, no. It was not. Shaw was the one you dueled and killed. Oh, yeah. Which apparently was a high chaos uh, action. Wakefield sealed himself in the cargo hold of the Undine. Smuggling ships like this one often have a hatch underneath for dumping contraband if they get caught. Perhaps the Undine is no different. Okay, that is a way to get in. So what was that charm we picked up? Let's see. Yeah, corrupted are kept at the bottom. Enemies have a high chance to miss ranged attacks. You are more visible to enemies. Nope. Yes, what? Sure, they have easy, they have hard time hitting you, but they're seeing you. Yeah, it would be more useful like for combat. Work, crying about their warehouse. Would you tell them? True. Laughed in their faces. Everyone knows they're scum. Besides, they couldn't stop talking about killing Dowd, and that's an enemy we don't need. I'm not sure who we're talking there. Let's think we were underneath us here. Yeah, oh, there they are. Get that creepy feeling of being watched. I've had that a bunch lately. Funny you ask that. I had this feeling of eyes on me. I looked up on the roof of that building over there, and there was a lady up there, right? I seen her too. Just stare. Then she was gone in a wink. Yeah, we seen the same thing. Should we tell the others about it? Uh, no. The others might think we're seeing things. First sign of the plague, from what I hear. Okay. What? But I think there was a hint to go looking over here for that uh, bone charm. I'm more of a wondering how is that a hint of a plague? Yeah, superstition, that uh, del delirium. Ah, okay, okay. And then again, people who do, people who are sick, uh, often do get a, can get a bit loopy in the head. Hey. Huh. Though how much varies. Yeah, I never had that happen to me, but apparently it has happened to uh, at least one friend. Oh, hello there. It's a trap down there, and. A weeper. Okay. And a rune in there. And a bone charm on the boat. Now, we haven't found the non-lethal way of getting rid of this guy yet. And the heck is... Oh, that's the trap for that... That's the trap for the trip wire. Trip wire, not... Tri I think. Yeah, come on. Could interact with it somewhere here. I'm just going to take this. There we go. Hey. 
Okay, they've got their own little quarantine set up. I'll take that. I'll take this. Corrupted charms. The following note was found at the site of a ritual murder attached to the victim's face by nine fish hooks arranged in a suspicious pattern. We inferred that the two parties were involved in a conflict over the construction and sale of a superstitious charm, using pieces from older, possibly damaged, her 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 heretical artifacts. Full investigation recommended focused on the person named Delilak De in Sarkonis. Lilika or Lilika, you cheat. For months I poured coin into your pockets, paying for all the things you requested. Food and lodging at the outskirts of town, livestock from with dirt, livestock with birth defects whose purpose I cannot imagine, toxic plants and alchemical materials. The baboon blood and cartilage of deep-dwelling uh, fish were not cheap, I assure you. But even more costly was the scrimshaw I painstakingly acquired from sailors during the past year. Carved from the bones of whales and set to hum with power us from beyond the world, these cost me half my savings. And you swore to me, swore that you could provide me with the charm I wanted. I was quite clear. I had your word that I would be able to visit Aldrin in my dreams, that I could woo her while sleeping. You promised me that you would love me. Instead, you leave her to me this lump of old bones scratched and hacked at. Wired together is made by a child. For two weeks, I kept it close to my heart, and at night, when I slept, I did see Aldrin. Aldrin? Uh, yes. Oh, yes. I saw her lying with everyone I ever hated rivals and enemies who have bested me in business and or in sport. Men who had bullied or insulted me, including my infernal older brother, who woke each morning clenching my teeth in shame and rage. Such terrible nosebleeds I suffered, and my hair began to fall out in clumps. I threw the cursed thing into the lake just to be rid of it. You told me you were a sorcerer, a simple charlatan more like. Be that as it may, I want you to know the day I decided to ruin your life. I will punish you for thinking me an idiot and taking my money. I could send an anonymous message delivered to the nearest overseer post. But what I've got in mind is more fitting. There is a gang that operates in Karnaka, assassins. I want you to know that all my remaining funds will be spent putting a contract on your pretty head. You will never see me again, Lilika. But when the butcher's blade falls on your neck, or when the poison in your milk takes hold, I want you to remember that this is how I repay those who cheat me. Okay, so uh, that... Okay, so I'm guessing that was the assassin's work. <laughs> or, well, the sorcerer, or quote-unquote sorcerer, uh, got them first. Did NPC just tell you to be quiet? Any secondary entrance into here? I'm still looking around for a non lethal option, but if we can't, I will just get into the bottom of the ship and shoot him. Hmm. Well, you could yeah. always trank him. Dowd, hmm? this is the second time now. I see something, or someone, out of the corner of my eye. But when I turn, they're gone. Someone is watching us. Yeah. Delilah's coven, most likely. <laughs> hmm. We are almost at the two hour mark. So. Maybe nice. so far. I'm surprised if we paid an hour for. I hope expect us to pay the witch. Yeah, I knew that we'd be playing as Doubt again because I saw someone play through these DLCs before, long enough ago that I don't remember the exact details anymore. But uh, yeah, I saw Rithian of the Yawks cast play through this like, oh dear. five years or more ago. Well, that's quite a while. Okay, where is the entrance to this place? Or is there even a secret entrance? Yeah, 
Or do I just knock these guys out and walk in? Yeah, that strong arms one is really useful, huh? Damn oh. usual. As long as you don't squeeze too hard. Yeah. And... Okay, no entrance here. Okay, let's grab you, put you with your friends. Let's see, is there really no any other way in? There's, there's a rune in there, so there should be a entrance. Actually, I think we just found it. That's the two hour mark. And, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> We're going to have a chat with uh, the, uh, the outsider. You keep surprising me, Dowd. Not long ago, I watched you kill an empress and steal her child for coin. For a man like that, you went through Cold Ridge Prison with an awfully soft touch. I wonder, are you hoping it will change the way things work out? Maybe. Maybe not. The song's almost over, and when the music stops, we all fall down. Okay. What did that make me think of Long Dim Ridge falling down? Probably because they kind of took the, the line from that. Can't go further. Okay. Mm. Let's just... Let's get on the boat. If we then overhear how to get rid of the guy non lethally there somewhere, we'll do that. If not, we're going for a swim and uh, just sticking a dart in his neck. Or blades. That's one accidental death. Is anyone there? Oh, um, this might not be the best place for them to be parking. If that pipe bursts, their boat is gone. Yeah, oh well, let, let's just end this. Where is... Need some air first. Won't track arrows work? Yeah, but we still have no real way of disposing of him otherwise, then. Well, I'm sure at least you can take care of him. Nice. Yeah, maybe she you want to. Why did Where? I think this would work? Yeah, is that him? What are they doing over at Cold Ridge? Can't keep their damn prisoners locked up. Let's see, the moment he sees us, he's probably going to go hostile. Uh, but still... Oh, hello. It's going to pieces. I was just getting things under control, and now I hear Lizzie busted out of Coleridge. Ow, the dead eels are all starting to swing my way. Uh, I even think we'll wipe out those accursed hatters soon. Mr. Hat humiliated me, humiliated me somewhat something awful with that raid to steal my engine coil and payback was going to uh, be me taking a piss in his stovepipe. Uh, but now that Lizzie is free again, I got the crew on high alert. Orders to kill anyone that ain't one of us. I'm starting to think I'm a, a bit off more than I can chew. Yeah, you most likely did. Had it come to this. Lizzie's on her way. I just know it. Might as well slit oh, we, my own throat. We can talk with him. Okay, let's do a little save here then, since this is probably going to end up in combat. Either way, you're down. What? What brings you here? Lizzie Stride owes me a favor. I'm sorry to hear that. You see, the watch picked her up. I'm trying to hold things together while she's in Coldridge. 
I'm awfully busy at the moment. I won't take too much of your time, but there's the matter of that favor. Yeah? What exactly does she owe you for? First, for getting her out of Coldridge. Second, for what's about to happen right now. Somebody okay. Time to signal Lizzie. Well, <laughs> at least we got to, uh, at least we got him to piss his pants before that. Oh, possibly. Okay. Uh, let's just steal the last little bit. Oh, hello. We already read that. Lizzie Stride is assuming control of the Dead Eels now. She's ordered them to give you safe passage. Your friend Edgar Wakefield set me up to be taken by the City Watch. And you followed him. Took his orders. But you know what? I forgive you. All of you. I'm filled with love. But... The following people each owe me a finger. Logan, Douglas, Bang Bang, Ferris, Pigface, the Bakers, and Annabelle. Shit. Two <laughs> from you, Annabelle. Have a good night. Well, uh, <laughs> at least she isn't killing them. <laughs> And I don't think we want to choke her out now. Yeah. Look at some garbage, Edgar. I'm still living with his incompetence. He let the Hatters cripple the Undine. Ship seems fine to me. They took the engine coil. We're dead in the water. What is it? Can we make a new one? They don't make them anymore. Not for an engine like the Undines. We'll have to get it back. The geezer still leads the Hatter gang, right? I'll pay him a visit. It won't be that easy. There's a snag. Always is. What's this one? The Gazer's about a hundred years old by now. He's got it rigged so that if he dies, the whole place gets gassed. So they're real careful around him. Got him a nurse and everything. Maybe you can cut a deal for that engine coil. Turn on the charm. One of the Hatters gave me their door password in exchange for keeping the rest of his fingers. It's whalebone. I never got to use it on account of the gas. And being in jail. Just be ready to move when I get back. Uh -huh. So we probably spent like 15 minutes trying to get into that place for nothing. Oh <laughs> uh, well, at least we can go back through all of that without having to dodge these dumbasses anymore. And yeah, this is as good a place as any to stop this for now, because I'm pretty sure, like the previous DLC, this is going to be pretty short, and that the next mission is go also going to be the last. Very possible. Uh, yeah. Um, actually... Uh, okay. One last bit, a little bit, is that currently there's... Uh, there currently the autumn sale is ongoing with Steam, and last that I saw, this honor is only three bucks at the moment. The DLCs are probably fifty to thirty percent off. So yeah, now would be a good time to get it. Uh, just to date this one, it is currently uh, it's currently November twenty fifth. So yeah, if you watch this like any time in the new year, you're too late for the sale, but. This game and its DLCs get on sale pretty often, I believe. Oh uh, yeah, for, for three bucks, just get it. <laughs> but yeah, for now, another save. And... Yeah. <clears throat> okay then. Uh, thank you for watching, Ramsey, and an absent thanks uh, to Ram as well. Good. And 
<clears throat> yeah. As always, thank you especially to Kieran. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, Saturday, more hard space ship breaker. We'll have to see how long we can continue we continue with that. Well, when we get to that. Um also, on Monday, I'll be doing another VR stream test because I got the AirLink feature to work, which is basically my headset connecting to the PC uh, wirelessly to run games through the PC and onto the headset. So, yeah, we'll do a test to see how that works. I'll pick a different game this time than uh, Arizona Sunshine. But beyond that, next week we'll continue with this. Yay. So, yeah. Until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Stay, folks! <laughs> <laughs>